It's BAFTA day. We're on next, apparently. The BAFTA goes to... Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Smile on my face, you know what that means. Car's behind me. I am at Vista. This is an old airbase that was on the edge of being not completely demolished and knocked down. A group of people, investors, I guess, clubbed together and bought it and have transformed it into just a heritage wonderland. I think that's probably the best way I can describe it. And all the old hangars, I mean, look at these buildings behind me. There's just hangers after hangar after hangar after amazing, beautiful old buildings, ammo stores, all these old military buildings on this airfield. And they've all been turned into workshops. And this is an open day. So I have mainly come up here to meet the guys at the Heritage Skills Academy. They, they teach and train uh, historic maintenance, maintaining mechanics, old cars. They even do coach building using wheeling machines and they reached out to me and offered to lend me one of their Randler wheeling machines. Luckily I've got my own now so I don't need it but I'm coming up to meet them because that is exactly the kind of place that I really want my new Randlers to end up. Training new kids, encouraging new kids to get into this old heritage craft. So hey, let's have a wander around. I've not even made it in past the car park. Look what's here, Prie bent window. I'm just filming for YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, good, good to see you. I've got a feeling that's gonna happen quite a bit today. Oh, Here's another one. Yeah, Hello. Fantastic, mate, nice to meet you. <laughs> favourite show, can I have a quick sample? Of course you can, yeah. You are top man, yeah. I love that programme, it's ace. <laughs> can I just say how much I love your YouTube channel? Oh, bless you, oh, thank Absolutely you. Wonderful. That's what I'm filming for now. Absolutely amazing. Oh, bless if you. If I only hey. watched one programme on television, it would be you, and because my skill set is your skill set, I envy every single job you do. Oh, I must no. hold you up, but... Honestly, that's really nice of you to say, oh, thank you. brilliant. The sun is shining, look at the weather. Let's get in there and find some cool cars. There's me putting pictures of Morgans on my Instagram the other day. We've got a whole, whole Morgan warehouse here. All right, I didn't film any of it, I'm sorry, but I had just got a little sneak preview inside this where at this workshop met the guy whose son is an apprentice in here and oh my goodness the Ferrari in there was a 1955 Monaco Formula One winner uh, and it's just sitting in there in pieces and I've got literally got to touch it and have a like, little look underneath of it and have all the bits and bobs inside I took a picture make sure I put a picture in here of the one I took but I couldn't really film any of it mad isn't it insane look there's more through here look 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 what else we got oh you've got to come and see this this is jimmy jimmy deville from goblin works garage and various other tv shows he's got a healy sprite a little frog eye here i was talking to him earlier about it it's just it's awesome so he's just got this recently been brought over from the states and there's this little plaque on it there's quite a lot of evidence to point that that used to be part of the Shelby driving school in the States, which is just mind blowing. He had three of them. One of them has been restored and there's every chance that this is another one. It's been converted to right hand drive. Look how they're <laughs> so crudely done. and it is all about that windscreen. Believe it or not, that, that is the kind of like sort of telltale little thing. I think I was talking to Jimmy there for like, I don't know, God, I don't even know the time has gone so quickly. I don't even know how long I was there for, but hearing all about it and what he's got planned and incredible. And he's only just down the road from me, weirdly. So there's every chance I might've made a new friend here, but I think he's planning on keeping the beautiful patina on the front, the, the old paint, the faded race stickers. It just looks beautiful, it looks perfect. And it was kept indoors in a barn, but it, it leaked right where the driver's seat is. So that floor and the both floor pans and the back where the fuel tank would be, it just completely rotten. So it sort of needs sympathetically new chassis, new floor panels, new boot, new bits on the front, and try and leave as much of the bodywork as possible because it just looks beautiful. I love it. Now I know there's lots of cool cars here to look at, but I had to just take a moment to appreciate this wall. 
how the paint is peeling off the wall. I love it. Look at that. I'm not sure what I'm going to enjoy more here, the cars or the buildings. I hope that's proper sign writing on that van, not vinyl. So we're going to have a look. Oh no, of course it is, look. Love that, you can see, look, see all the little drips, the little imperfections. Of course it's real sign writing. I shouldn't have doubted them, should I? How rude, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna wander down here now, let's have a look. Oh, this is all Porsches. This is, I might, might lose some time here. Hang on. There's too much here to look at. I don't know what to film. My eyes are just kind of like, oh. <laughs> so this is the original Wong, Willy Wonka truck. Look. It's Bentley. Oh. I wouldn't mind one of these. Maybe one day you see me sitting in there. Can, I don't know. I don't know if I can quite pull that off. I'm not sure. It's quite a procedure, uh, <laughs> isn't it? Well, there goes my microphone. <laughs> I still haven't eaten. I've got a coffee, but I still haven't eaten anything. There's just too much to see. I keep trying to veer off, but I don't want to waste my time queuing up. I keep getting distracted with everything else. I'm gonna go and see the guys now at the Heritage Skill Academy. See what they've got going on. Generous guys offered me the wheelie machine. Look at this. They've actually got a Justin Baker wheeling machine out the front doing little <laughs> demonstrations of wheeling, which is brilliant. Coach builder in the making there. Here we go, it is now Sunday, about midday, and I've just got back down to the hotel. It's BAFTA day, <laughs> it's official. We've been nominated for the BAFTA, we're here, it's today. I've come down a bit early to try and get ready. I think wearing suits and going to these events and things like this is definitely not <laughs> something I'm very uh, used to doing or comfortable doing. I do get a little bit nervous beforehand. It's just, oh, just wearing a suit and everything like that. You should have seen me yesterday, honestly. I wish I had a spare battery for this stupid camera because it ran out. I was filming so many of those cars at, um, at Bista, at the Heritage Place. Uh, my battery ran out towards the end and I'm gutted. So I didn't get to finish that video then. And then I went straight from there down to, there's like a shopping village place in Bista because I had to go and try and find a suit to buy a new suit because I don't have a suit. And you should have seen me, honestly, just flapping around, running around these shops that I never go in clove shopping and things like that. Have my jeans, my t-shirt, my boots, and that's it. It's all <laughs> nice and simple. So having to go around posh clove shops was just trying on suits was just horrendous. Very stressful, I'm very tired. But I found one, I've got it in the van. I can probably get some room service, get a sandwich or something, try and fit into this suit, make myself look uh, slightly presentable. Maybe try, might have to try and give my beard a bit of a trim because I'm a bit of a scruff bag. And then get a beer and get ready for the party. And then boom. 
just like that. <laughs> I've got my beer, I've got my suit. Because I'm late, no doubt everyone's already going to be in there. See who's in there, see who's later than me. Hello? There's nobody here. I can't believe nobody's here. There's me flapping that I think I was late. I'm the first one here. What's going on? So because of COVID, we unfortunately can't go to the actual event, but we've got the next best thing. <laughs> An Apple box, a laptop, a little, <laughs> little camera, and a light, and a big table. We've all been tested. Um, we're all positive, no, we're all negative. No, <laughs> we're not all positive. We're all negative, so we're all fine. So we're all okay to sit around a table. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. We're on, we're on next, apparently. We're we gonna win? We're gonna win. Fingers crossed. Um, and if we don't get it, smart away it goes. Okay, okay, here we are. The next award is for features. Present at BAFTA tonight, and to be joined by all the nominees, they're having their own. Oh. No. You're having a bubble. Oh, they're yeah. definitely having a bubble. Okay, guys, it's a little technical. The nominees on. Features. The repair shop. Woo! Yeah, yeah. It's about so many memories from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> the bath goes to. Long lost family, born oh. without trace. Oh. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. <laughs> yeah, well done, well done. Well done. <laughs> Wow, what a weekend that was. <laughs> I know we didn't win, but hey, next year is our year. You know what, because we were all tested beforehand, it was the first time we've all been able to sit around a table and have dinner together properly. Um, it was just really nice to, to sit with. I know everyone wasn't there, and it's, that's, I'm sad everyone wasn't there, but we all had really good fun and a nice drink afterwards. And hey, to be BAFTA nominated, I'll take that. No, it's not that bad. We've only got a week or two left here before we finish filming for this series. Nearly finished all my jobs, so I, I think I've got two more things on and I have a bit of a break, so that is good. Oh my goodness, Bista. I haven't, haven't really finished Bista, have I? Just as I found that Ranler wheel, I was kind of looking all day. It was like, there must be a Ranler wheel here somewhere. Some, somebody, one of these amazing companies in here must have a Ranler wheeling machine. But they didn't, nobody had one. And then the guys at the Heritage Skills Academy, was like, they had one hidden away. Was, as I was peering through, as I was walking through, it was like, oh, it's through here. Past this caravan, past this old engine hoist. Was, the wheels were just pristine, beautiful paint. It was just beautiful, really, really cool. So it was really nice to see one at least there. But I had spent a lot of the day with the guys at the Heritage Skills Academy, also with Dom from the Association of Heritage Engineers, which was, Brilliant, I think I'll be doing a lot more with those guys in the future, so stay tuned for that. You know what, this is a strange one, Monday morning walk down the lane, but I'm gonna end my video here because after that weekend, <laughs> I don't know if I can really top that here. I just wanna say thank you very much everyone for the support, you've all been so good so far. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Um, if you are, tell your friends, let's get more people watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Thank you.